Smelling so good. Can you smell it over there, Joe? Yep. Yeah, it smells great. <laughs> we have Chef Jabari Nix here in the kitchen from the Battle House. You guys have two restaurants in the Battle House, the Trellis Room and Joe Kane Cafe. So which restaurant is this recipe from? Uh, this one will be featured on the new trellis menu. Okay, yes. sounds good. Trellis Room, fa both fantastic restaurants. Yes. Trellis Room, a little more upscale. Joe Kane Cafe, a little more casual. Great food, both. Now, what are you making? Uh, what we have is some spaghetti squash ravioli. Um, we take our dough, once we have it rolled out, uh -huh. then you just simply press it. We take the spaghetti squash, roast it at 375 for about 45 minutes. Once it's done, salt, pepper, and butter. Take it, puree it. We come back. Okay. Fill the ravioli. That garlic smells really good. <laughs> Now the trick is going to be keeping that garlic in there and the mixture in without it falling apart. Right. Then we just take it and do a little egg wash, brush it. That's what's going to make sure it's key. That's right. Uh huh. And the egg wash. What is in your egg wash? I just simply use uh, one shell egg and a little bit of milk. Okay, that's easy. Then we'll just fold it over. Okay. Then what we do is this presses it down. This is the second seal. That's going to huh. take that spaghetti squash and lock it in. Keep it in place. Exactly. So once we put it into our water. Look at that. Very cool. And then you just press a little bit harder and pull them up. Pull them up. Boom. Ravioli. Okay, and you want to pull, get them all ready before you start right. putting them in the water so some don't overcook, right? Right. And some don't undercook at the same time. <laughs> okay, so while you're punching those out, promise a little bit of history on the Battle House Hotel. If you've lived in Mobile for a long time, maybe you're just getting here, you've probably heard there's a lot of history there. And there is, found out that it's on the site of military headquarters set up by Andrew Jackson during the War of 1812. Did you realize it went back that far? And it served as a Confederate hospital during the Civil War. So, a lot of history there. And now part of the hotel was destroyed in 1905 in a fire. But then it was rebuilt. All kinds of neat things happened there. I mean, it was the happening spot, right? It was the happening spot and still is. Yeah, that's right. Well, it closed again in the early 70s and a lot of people went, why? My mom included. Why? Okay. <laughs> why? We love the Battle House. So, you know, growing up around Mobile, I remember looking at it, driving past, saying, man, I wish it was open again. And what do you know, 2007, it's open, open again, again and it's once again, like you mentioned, the place to be. It is. A lot of stuff going on, huh? A lot of stuff. And we also have the tavern that sits right on the front side of the hotel on Royal Street mm -hmm. uh, in front of the actual trellis room. Great place to come, piano bar, drinks. Yeah, just hang out with your right. friends after work. Exactly. Very nice. And of course, you want to stop by and get some great food. So you're going to keep making this ravioli. And then I know we have a lot of other ingredients we want to work with too. So we want to get started on the other ingredients in the next segment? We'll get started on the next segment. Okay. Now, in the meantime, be sure you get this recipe. It's on our website, fox10tv.com, and it's all on the Studio 10 page. All right, we are in the kitchen this morning with Jabari Nix from the Battle House Hotel. We're doing it big. We got the garlic going. It smells great. What are we going to do next? Uh, what we're going to do now is add our mushrooms, mm -hmm. get the saute going. And for the folks just tuning in, what is the actual dish we're working on here? Uh, we're working on some spaghetti squash ravioli. We did homemade pasta, uh, a local bile of battery shrimp, mm -hmm. chanterelle and lobster mushrooms with brown butter and sage. You got to keep it local. That fresh seafood is always the best. You know. <laughs> all right. So what is, what is this here? This is the sage. That's the sage. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do now is take the ravioli. We'll mm -hmm. get it started. You're a busy man. You got to do a bunch of things at work. Bunch of it. Bunch of it. Holding it down. Now, while you're doing that, tell us a little bit about the uh, trellis room at the Battle House. Uh, the trellis room, uh, we have breakfast and dinner. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a buffet that we do for breakfast. We also have a Sunday brunch that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, for dinner, there's several options. Of course, we do have our upscale option. 
Uh, for those that are looking for something that's very special, very quaint, but we also have a limited menu that we do too for somebody who wants to enjoy the ambiance, but come in and maybe try something that's a little more familiar for them. Very cool. Lots of different options for you at the Battle House. So when you're cooking these mushrooms, when do you know when it's time to start adding the other stuff? How do we know when those are good to go? Uh, what you do is they'll start to get tender. The butter mm -hmm. will start to brown. Mm -hmm. Once you start to see the browning start to occur, that's when we're going to go ahead and add the shrimp. All right. And how did you learn how to cook? How did I learn how to yep. cook? I learned how to cook in a uh, Jewish deli in Chicago. I grew up in Chicago in a Jewish deli called Al's Deli under okay. a Portuguese chef named Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups to Ramon. Yeah, if you're you know what this. to say. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So grew up in Chicago, learned to cook at the deli, and what, what brought you here down to the south? Uh, actually, the reopening of the Battle House. Okay. The reopening of the Battle House. I was invited down to join the team, Very and I've cool. uh, been here in Mobile ever since. Yep. Miss the Windy City at all? Sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of fall, kind of summer. Go up there. <laughs> right. Freezing right. right now, right? Cold. All well, summer summers are nice in that area, but the rest of the year is cold. I can uh, I can attest to that being from Wisconsin. So okay. All right. So that is some uh, looks like some crushed red pepper. A little crushed red pepper. Add a little okay. bit of spice. Mm -hmm. A little salt. A little pepper. Mm-hmm. And now we'll add the ravioli in. Okay. Get that saute in. And it is all coming together here. Well, if you're following along, we do have the recipe on the Studio 10 tab, Studio 10 at fox10tv.com. So you can go check out this recipe and try it for yourself. Or if you're feeling lazy and don't want to do that, you can always go to the Battle House and check it out at the Trellis Room. They're going to prepare it perfectly for you. Guaranteed. All right, so we got that going. We got a little more work to do here in the kitchen, and when we come back, we'll plate this bad boy up. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. This ravioli is smelling so good here in our kitchen on Studio 10. We have Chef Jabari Nix with us from the Battle House. This is something, this is a trellis room specialty. Yes. And Trellis Room is at the Battle House. Two different restaurants at the Battle House when you go. You have Joe Kane Cafe and the Trellis Room. Both have phenomenal food. Let's talk about this recipe now. Tell everybody what you've made and what ingredients, just to give us a reminder. Okay. This is the spaghetti squash ravioli with the wild mushroom chanterelles and lobster mushrooms, sage, and a little bit of fresh garlic and brown butter. Okay. And we're going to finish it now with a little bit of lemon. Uh-huh. And a little bit of Parmesan once we get it in the plate. Okay, well, it's looking good. It's smelling good. So, the Battle House, we mentioned earlier a lot of history there. You guys are right off Royal Street in downtown yes. Mobile. Easy yes. to find. Easy to find. When is the trellis room open? Uh, the trellis room is open from 5 30 till 9 30. Okay, yes. so time to go. And then again, you can go to Joe Kane Cafe. There's also the little bar in the front of the trellis room the tavern. The tavern, yes. piano there. You can hear some music. Yes, we have the music, and also we have live music in Joe Kane, the piano bar at the tavern, and we also have a comedy show in Joe Kane uh, on the weekend. Always lots of good stuff, and you can check their Facebook page. We'll put a link to that on our on our Fox10TV.com <laughs> website. We're also going to put this recipe there. It's on the Studio 10 page. We want to taste this, though. It smells so, so good. So you're well, going to lay them out just so. You're going to make yeah. them so pretty. <laughs> And then what we'll do now is we'll get some mushrooms in there. Okay. And some shrimp. Mm -hmm. And Can't then we'll finish those. it with that Parmesan cheese. And then we'll taste it. Okay, hey, that sounds good. That's my favorite part. What about you? No, my favorite part is to eat it. I've already tasted it. Yeah. Oh, just go ahead and finish it off. The taste is just a tease. Okay. Well, we'll share. How about that? Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, so the mushrooms go on the top. If you're doing this at home, you're making this pretty. Maybe you want to do something nice for your loved one. That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. You can also, of course, get this at the trellis room in the Battle House. And you said finish things off with some Parmesan after you get all that butter and the good yeah. spices out of there. Okay. And there's the Parmesan cheese. And voila, smelling good, looking voila. good. Look at that. You're pushing it away from me. I, oh. I was <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can taste it during the break. I'll let you get okay. a pretty picture and let everybody see how it looks. But we do definitely want to taste this. And remember, you can get that recipe on Fox10TV.com on the Studio 10 page. Now Thank let's taste. you. Okay. Oh.